Hey there, welcome back to the bomb process course. Uh, we are in module three, the seven phases. And here in lesson two, we're going to just do a brief overview of the phases. In the following lessons, we're going to kind of dive deep into each of the phases. But before we talk about individual phases in depth, we thought it was important to give you an overview of the phases and the order they come in. So the seven phases are this. One is the planner phase. The second phase is the builder phase. The third is the recruiter phase. The fourth phase is the scientist phase. The fifth phase is the banker. The sixth phase is the leader. And finally, you reach the badass. So this is the journey that you're on. And what I will tell you is there is a good chance that you have done some of the tasks in each one of these phases, or at least multiple of these phases in your business. This process here is meant to be explaining how things should be done. And we'll talk a bit more about this in future lessons, but ultimately what you want to do is go back to the earliest phase where you have tasks that are not completed and focus all of your attention on really getting that work done then you move to the next phase. By doing this, you'll be doing the right things in the right order. So that's the idea. Again, you plan, you build, you recruit, then you're the scientist, which is an experimentation phase, the banker, which is about the money, the leader, which is about building a team, and then the badass. So that's the journey that you'll go on. And importantly, during each phase, you'll have a different goal and will be focused on different tasks and different trainings. You'll be learning different things during the different phases. So that's really the goal here. And the big takeaway is that breaking things down into seven phases will help you to avoid the information overwhelm of trying to do it all and keep you focused on doing the highest impact work at any given time. In other words, we're going to make sure that you're not putting the cart before the horse. We're going to put things in the right order and knock them off and get them done so that you're doing the work in the right order without being overwhelmed with all the things. So that's the whole purpose of these phases. And that's what we're going to do now. Now that we've got the overview in the next lesson, you'll learn more about the planner phase in detail. What are you working on? What are you focused on, et cetera? So I will see you in the next lesson.